Yes, hey folks, it's Tim, also known as Faceless Fat Loss. I'm continuing al along this series with another one of my food rules today. First, I wanted to acknowledge something very horribly sad. Uh, it's rare that I will shed tears for, literally shed tears for people that I don't know. Of course, if something terrible happens, I'll feel sympathy and I'll feel bad. But we lost someone really great last night. You all know who I'm talking about. Mr. Robin Williams passed on. I was so hoping and praying that this was a hoax. And apparently it is not a hoax. And um, I was definitely a huge fan of his. I just watched his latest movie, no, no less than about a week ago, his ang Angriest Man movie. It was terrific. Absolutely loved him. I saw pretty much every single movie he ever did. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's a single one that I missed. I was a definite fan. I remember him in Mork and Mindy when I was a little boy. He just was a special, unique person and uh, really put a cloud over my life to hear about what happened. Now, I wanted to make a really quick side note on this topic to my fellow YouTubers out there. I absolutely love you guys. I subscribe to a lot of different YouTubers who I watch regularly, and I do absolutely love and adore you guys to death. Um, there, I have one little problem I wanted to mention, and that relates to people titling their videos uh, the, after a tragedy. In this case, it would be something like Robin Williams found dead. And then if you have the ability to monetize the video, to set the monetization on, I disagree with this strongly, folks. This is immoral. It's, uh, to be blunt, it's fucking disrespectful. I mean, I, I think we can all agree on this. Uh, do a video, sure, discussing it, but please don't monetize it. It's no, That would be no different than what the scumbag media outlets do in exploiting another's and their family's tragedy for the sake of just a little bit money, a little bit of money. It's not right. It's not right. I think all you guys know what I'm talking about. So please don't do that. It's, it's wrong, period. Okay, enough said on that. I'll go to my food rules today. Now, it just so happens to be a coincidence that I was going to cover this topic. Anyways, this topic is indirectly related to what happened to Rob. Well, perhaps directly related to what happened to Robin Williams, and that's relating to no alcohol. I was going to cover this anyways today, so I guess the timing's right. This is something I feel strongly about. I cover this in my materials. In my quick start guide, I go into details about it and why. And it's very simple. Alcohol is a toxin, period. Your body has to detoxify every time you're taking in alcohol. Now you can see my midsection is pretty slim. Got my liver over here, my detox one of my main detoxification organs. There's no cirrhosis going on. There's no inflammation going on. Sometimes when you see people who look, quote, fat or have a beer belly or whatnot, it could in part be simply that their liver is inflamed from having to go through detox all the time. You know, F, F all the stupid benefits that are claimed about alcohol. It's all Bull crap. I know this is con this is going to be controversial. I don't, but I don't care about the stupid resveratrol alleged benefits. I don't care about cholesterol lowering benefits. Any of that. It's all bunk. This is a money industry based on an addictive product that goes into my next qualm with it, my next huge problem with it, and that's the fact that it's a regulated industry selling an addictive product. So how does that work? Kaching. Ka-ching, lots and lots of money made. Isn't it kind of convenient that the government happens to be involved in a product that they know makes people feel good and that they know they can drive revenue from? And what else? Repeat sales. Eternal income. Why? Because people are going to go back and buy it. If they're real lucky, they're going to get them addicted to this drug. Remember, it's a drug and once they got you addicted, what happens then? Moolah, lots and lots of money. They got you coming back for more over and over and over again. Now, does that sound like something you want to participate in? Especially since it contributes to illness. It toxifies you all the way down to the cellular level. There's plenty of evidence and research regarding this. It makes you fat. And so many of you tune in to listen to what I'm doing to look like this since early 2008 that I've been do doing videos. I always pretty much look the same, folks, don't I? Pretty much always the same. I'm a little bit undercarved right now. But 
I'm going to fix that in just a moment in the kitchen with a bunch of fruit. So no alcohol. Check out my program for more details on this over at facelessfatloss.com, over40andrip.com, maintenancemotions.com, and I've got yet another new project I'm going to start very shortly that is going to encompass everything and be a lot more fun and expand way beyond the fat loss stuff. So thank you so much for tuning in. Love, happiness, health, and peace.